Hey everybody, it's Joe, and I want to show you what you can make with Print-A-Block. This is a cool little box that I made that's got magnetic parts. I just want to show off the box for one second, but this is actually only half of the box, because the other half of the box, while they all do stack together, it ends up being, looks like a steamer pot. It's just too, too big to put on video. So, but never mind that. Uh, this box has got all the little parts that we need. It's got components for, I'm going to need these in just a second, but there are all the little connectors and some of the base colors. And then it's got all the various accessories and more base parts here. But I've already laid out the parts that we're going to need today right here to build kind of the basic, uh, basic starting mech, the, the mech that kind of evolved out of this whole thing. We're going to make a light mech today. So I'm going to need these parts here. You could potentially, instead of using one of these triple pieces right here, you could simply take three of the, of the regular base pieces and just snap them together. These, these doubles and triples and quadruples that we have in here are just kind of a shortcut, but when I'm figuring things out, I'll often build them with the onesies, and then when I'm done and I print the instructions for them, I will print them with triplesies or whatever makes sense for that one. Now, this is a pivot block, and the pivot block has a little round edge on it, and when you snap it into one of the other mechs. Hmm. This one is way too loose. I may have to reevaluate the design there, but it allows it to pivot around. So we will do that. But um, if that's too loose for you, all you have to do is swap that out for just a regular one. You won't get the pivoty, but it will still work. So let's go ahead and put a connector on the side here. And we'll put one of the legs on one side and put a connector on the other side and put the leg on the other side. Now, these legs could potentially be done forward or backward, but we're going to have them sweep back like that. Okay, let's put the feet on there. Now, the feet are, if you put them on the wrong side, they're going to tip into each other like that when they line up and they're gonna, it's gonna be pigeon toed. And so if that's backwards, just switch the feet. You got it on the wrong side, no problem there. With the other foot right here, little little stringy there, stringing those along. There we go. There it can stand up. So there's the base of our chicken mech, and then I'm going to put the head on there, making the basic T shape that falls. This T shape actually shows up in a lot of things that that uh, this happens, but this could also be a pivot block, which would be fine as well. Okay, we need to, so let's see, what do we want to add on next? Let's, let's do the accessories in the front. So I'm going to throw three connectors here. And you notice there was already a connector up here. I leave connectors in all the time. And when I pull things apart and put them in storage and there's a connector that stays in there, I just leave it in there a lot of the time. So there's the cockpit piece that we put in there. There are a little printer block pilot. There we go, it gets to hang out and, and pilot his mech from over there. And uh, we'll get some front vents on here. I don't know what these do as far as the mech is concerned, but they look cool. I don't know, this is the, this is the uh, cooling system or, or something. <laughs> a radiator comes out of those parts right there. So that works pretty good. Uh, let's see, at this point we're gonna put the the little hatch on the top. We gotta have a place for our pilot to get in. And we're going to, oh, let's let's add on the back part. So I really like these curved pieces. When they all go together, it makes, a I think, a rather pleasing little overall shape that we can just put off the back here. So let me, let me put in some connect. And I don't, in this case, I don't need to use all three connectors. I could maybe just do it with the two on the outside and let them hold it in place. Hold the middle one in place. There we go. That works out good. That looks really good. I'm pretty happy with that. I realized I forgot to pull out one of the pieces. 
I need to, to search through here a little bit and I need to find just a, a flat panel to go over here. And there, there are lots of uh, printer block panels. They're just, they, they don't serve any purpose other than to just kind of cover up those, those open holes like that. So let, let me see if I can find, there we go. I like this. this, this little panel here. It's just a short little piece and it's got a little hole in the back. It's just as tall as it needs to be so that we can snap into there and snap into there. There we go. And it can just cover that up without, you know, without any commitment. Now at this point, uh, we've got spaces here, 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 and here that we can put weapons. We can put any weapons that we want on there. We could even potentially swap out the vents here and do some of the forward-facing weapons like the forward-facing Gatling gun or the forward-facing plasma gun. So we could, we could deck this out however we want, but I'm going to do it uh, with a couple of missile launchers up here. And I kind of like these missile launchers because they, they can pivot like that, see? which I think is cool. So we've got, that one goes right there. Perfect. And then this one. Well, I've never seen it do that. This is the first time it, it folded under itself, but hey, if it can fold under, I can fold it back out. There we go. There we go. In and right there like that. I don't know if you could hear it in my voice, but you know, sometimes the tongue sticks out when I'm working on stuff like that. Now on the side, I want to have a couple of forward-facing guns, and I'm just going to choose these kind of plasma canning, cannony sort of turrets or whatever here. And so we're going to put one on one side, like that, and one on the other side, like that. And there we go. There is our light chicken walker mech model made with printer block parts that is suitable for play and miniatures and stuff like that. So there we go. There is the first printer block model kit. You guys can check that out at printerblock.com. And there will be more coming soon. So stay tuned. Remember, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Leave a comment down below about what sort of mechs and robots you want to be able to make. And hopefully they'll show up in a future printer block build video. Or you can get some printer blocks yourself and make them yourself. Thanks very much for watching.